Tom Dewan, Daniel Jungleman Cates, Phil Ivey. It's always thrilling to watch a true poker prodigy in their prime. And in the case of Jose Jira Macedo, everyone believed there was another poker phenom in the making. But the whole thing turned out to be a tale of smoke and mirrors, of deception, and ultimately, a massive con. But how did this one scam artist turn the entire online poker world upside down? Oh, my worst month in poker was about negative 500k, but only 200k or so of that was from poker and the rest was from being scammed. Happy New Year everyone! We're excited for 2024 and have a lot of great videos planned. If there's something in particular you'd like for us to cover, please let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to make it happen. Now let's get into it. In the world of poker, where fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye, tales of triumph and of scandal often intertwine. Born and raised in Lisbon, Portugal, Jose Macedo's early life was far from the thought of the world of professional poker. Not much is known about his early beginnings, but Macedo's entry into the poker world was a serendipitous affair. Introduced to the game by friends during his late teens, he quickly discovered a natural aptitude for the strategic nuances of poker. Fueled by a competitive drive, Macedo dove headfirst into the world of online poker. The virtual felt became Macedo's arena, and he wasted no time in making a name for himself before he was even 18 years old. With an uncanny ability to read opponents and a fearless approach to risk, he began accumulating victories that reverberated throughout the poker community, showing off millions in winnings. Macedo's unbelievable rise was punctuated by impressive performances in online tournaments, earning him the respect and admiration of his peers. However, in the world of poker, success is often accompanied by scrutiny. And in a shocking turn of events, news broke of a scandal involving Macedo and another player known as Sauron 1989. The scandal, which unfolded in 2011, centered around an alleged scam to cheat opponents out of significant sums of money. But let's back up a bit to see how we got here. Just really arrogant. I was really arrogant at that time. I really thought I was playing like 100 NL, but I really thought I was the king of the world already, and I thought I was going to be the best in the world. In late 2010, a buzz enveloped the poker world when a thread surfaced on the widely followed 2 plus 2 poker forum. This thread centered around a young prodigy from Portugal claiming to dominate the high stakes games. Despite being allegedly underage, this newcomer was reportedly thriving in some of the largest online poker arenas. And this marked the genesis of the Jose Jira Macedo saga. The poker community pondered over the identity of this rising star, and they questioned whether he'd truly matched the hype. However, what seemed to be the start of a promising poker narrative took an unexpected turn. Rumors swirled for months with little concrete information about the Portuguese poker prodigy. Then in early 2011, Jira himself created a revealing thread on the 2 plus 2 forum, shedding light on his background and on his poker journey. I started off playing 1 2 cents, where I grinded as many tables as possible basically and just bonused a lot and used a lot of bonuses. Impressively showcasing his results, the young player detailed his ascent from low stakes tables, leaving an indelible impression on the community. However, a closer examination raised suspicions. Metaphors, a mandatory sob story, and other nuances hinted that Macedo's narrative might not be as genuine as it seemed. Despite endorsements from well-known pros like Jungle Man and Dog His Head, skepticism arose. Some believe Jira to be a creation of these pros, utilizing Jungle Man's stats in the post. Ultimately, Jira ended up securing a contract with Lock Poker and joined forces with Poker Strategy, a prominent poker training site. At one point, he was even challenging Tom Dewan to play in a round of the Dirt Challenge, the gold standard of heads up poker. I put up 1.5 million on the side to anyone's 500,000. And if you're up a dollar, you keep that. And if you're up a million, you keep the million plus the side bet. If you want to learn more about the Dirt Challenge, we've got a great video all on that and on Tom Dewan. Check it out, the link is in the description. But back to Macedo, the controversy surrounding him escalated in August 2011. Now details of the scandal were murky at first, but involved accusations of multi-accounting, ghosting, and other unethical practices. Macedo, who had previously been celebrated for his skill and strategic prowess, now found himself embroiled in a controversy that threatened to tarnish his reputation irreparably. Macedo allegedly orchestrated matches where players' whole cards were exposed through Skype, providing an unfair advantage to his accomplices. A 2 plus 2 forum user, going by the alias Moss Boss, initiated a discussion exposing a heads-up strategy Skype group that was initiated by Macedo. Macedo, masquerading as a poker coach, 
offered to spectate and guide players during live poker sessions conducted remotely on Skype. Around July 2011, Maceda began promoting matches against a player named Sauron1989 on iPoker, depicting them as an easily exploitable opponent to the members of the strategy group, just a giant fish. Showing her that Chris Ferguson is uh, like a Harvard professor and how it's a respected way of is mathematical and stuff. Showing her like Nananoko's graph to show that like it's possible to be a very consistent winner. Group members engaged in high stakes games against Sauron 1989 on iPoker. Despite Macedo's assurances of Sauron 1989 being a weak player, participants consistently incurred substantial losses, some even reaching five figure amounts in a single session. One such unfortunate player was Moss Boss, who experienced a staggering loss across two sessions while Macedo observed on Skype. Growing suspicious during the matches against Sauron 1989, Moss Boss scrutinized the Skype chat logs with Macedo that occurred concurrently with the games. Upon closer examination, Moss Boss discovered a correlation between Sauron 1989 disconnecting from iPoker and Macedo logging off of Skype simultaneously. Facing mounting pressure from the strategy group members, Macedo eventually confessed to what they had suspected all along. He was the mastermind behind the Sauron 1989 screen name, playing against them while remotely observing their whole cards via Skype. And as the scandal unraveled, consequences were swift and severe. Macedo faced public condemnation with many calling for his expulsion from the poker community. Online poker platforms took decisive action, banning Macedo from their sites. The fallout was not only financial, but also emotional, as trust among players was shattered, casting a shadow over the integrity of online poker. The fallout extended to Jungle Man and Dog His Head as well, who faced backlash for vouching for Jira. Amidst community division, they promised to reimburse Macedo's victims, but distanced themselves from the scandal's responsibility. Macedo's swift rise and fall left the poker community in shock, prompting questions about the legitimacy of the original story. Despite attempts to understand the events, the true nature of the scandal remained obscured in mystery. Post-scandal, Macedo vanished from online poker, but did resurface in 2014, leading a cleaning service agency in the UK. This unexpected turn hinted at a redeemed path for Macedo, who seemed to have learned from his mistakes and sought success in a different field. The saga of Jose Jira Macedo is a complex narrative that encapsulates the highs and the lows of the poker world. Macedo's fall from grace sent shockwaves to the community, but at the end of the day, these stories are a dime a dozen in poker lore, proving that you can't really trust anyone in the sport. But isn't that kind of the point? Yeah, I don't think there's much talent to it. I mean, a lot of people say there is, but but I really think anyone, if they put their mind to it, they can be successful in poker. And that's it for this one. Thank you for checking out the video. And if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss an episode when we release. We will see you in the next one.